Welcome. I'd like to thank you for joining me as we talk about pediatric EKGs and the specifics about reading pediatric EKGs. Placement of the precordial leads. The fourth intercostal space is where we start placing the leads. There's also the fifth intercostal space that we'll talk about. There's midclavicular line and the midaxillary line. So lead V1 is positioned to the right of the sternum at the fourth intercostal space. V2 is to the left at the fourth intercostal space. V4 is at the midclavicular line in the fifth intercostal space, and V6 is at the midaxillary line. These lead positions in placement are exactly the same as in an adult ECG. The one thing that you have to be very careful in lead placement is to make sure that all the leads are separated, because if there's any contact between the leads, it will cause a combination of voltages and not allow proper interpretation. So particularly in young patients, it's very important to use small ECGs and make sure that the leads are in the proper position without overlap of the leads. We're going to look at an ECG and we'll talk about how you determine the difference between left axis deviation and right axis deviation in a patient with an axis that falls in the northwest quadrant. So if we take a look at a close-up of this ECG, what you can see is that in lead 1 and AVF, there's a negative or downward deflection. So if you take a look at which quadrant... I hope you've enjoyed this program and that the information provided will help you improve your ECG interpretation skills and clinical practice. For more information on other programs in the Tutorials in Electrocardiography series, as well as other educational series, or to obtain CME credit for the programs you've just viewed, please visit our website or email us at the information on the screen. Thank you for joining us.